first morning the sun comes back. Find a clean cloth for the kitchen table. The red and blue one you made that cold winter in Montana. Spread out your paper and books. Tune the radio to the jazz station. Look at the bright orange safflowers you found last August. How well they held their color next to the black spotted cat. Make some egg coffee in honor of all the peoples above the Arctic Circle. Give thanks to the soupies who figured out how to brew coffee from the dark bitter beans. Remark on the joyfulness of your dishes, black and yellow stars. Reminisce with your lover about the history of this kitchen, where between bites of cashew stir-fry, you first kissed each other on the mouth. Now that you're hungry, toast some leftover cornbread, spread it with real butter, honey from bees that fed on basswood blossoms. She paints such a good picture. The window is frosted over, but the sun's casting an eye over all the books. Open your Spanish book. The season for sleeping is over. The pots and pans quiet now, let them be. It will be a short day. Sit in the kitchen as long as you can, reading and writing. At sundown, rub a smidgen of butter on the western windowsill to ask the sun, come back again tomorrow. <laughs> what to do the first morning the sun comes back? <laughs>